Listen, they turned you into a brute beast. Who do you think the Most High is more pleased with? You or that spider? The spider that you just killed today. The spider, and as, and as I said that, there's a spider crawling up my phone. That spider is being who the Most High created it to be. It's eating what the Most High created it to eat. It's living in accordance with na nature, natural. It's being its natural self. And you fucking killed it. But you're not living natural the way that the Most High want you to live. You don't drink. That bottle of water isn't natural. It's poison. But these devils got you trust in poison. And you second guess what the Most High gives you to drink. Have you ever thought that all of this, all of this nature around me drinks rain? Every goddamn, every animal out here, every bug out here drinks rain. Every living creature on the, on every living organism drinks rain except for you. You got to stop killing bugs. I don't care if it's a roach, a rat, a mosquito. I don't care what it is. Stop killing bugs. See, here's the thing about the bugs. See, the bugs are more in tune with nature than you and I. The bugs are, the bugs know the signs. The bugs know the times that they're living in, that we are living in. The, everyone's ready. The water, the air, everyone's ready. The bugs are ready. The rats, the roaches, everything is vibrating on point. Okay? These devils are sending out radiation to knock everything out of whack. And that's why you see birds flying in the buildings. You see, um, you see things blooming in and out of season. Um, but for the most part, we are being affected by the most because we're tampering with the stuff. We're, we're actually utilizing the radiation for our own, um, we're, we're utilizing the dead crap. It's, it's death, it's a death signal, it's death, it's death. We're playing with it, we're playing in it, swimming in it, enjoying it, okay? Using it as a luxury, playing with the phone, okay? And while our, our, our brains are being warped, our bones are getting brittle, and we still don't know who the hell we are. The bugs are trying, they want to reconnect with us. They want to help to higher our vibrations. They see us and they can't believe that we have stooped so low. They know us, they remember us, they respect us. And they see us walking and we're, we're trying to kill them. We're trying to stab, we're trying to, I seen a dude today riding in his truck, him and his wife, white, white people. Um, they seen a cat and he revved it and tried to hit the cat. Two grown folks in their like 40s. I'm like, God damn. Listen, bro, we are so tore up on this planet. We have become brute beasts. Let me tell you like this. We used, we used to vibrate high, but now we don't know who we are. The animals, they know who we are, but we're kind of unrecognizable. But they want to help us. They're waiting for us. The whole world's waiting for us. The water's waiting for us. The air, the ground, the bugs. Everything's waiting for us to hire our vibration. Let me give you an example about that. It's like, if there's an old folks home, and it's on fire. It's on fire. And you're in there trying to wake the people up, the patients up, at least get them on their feet. At least get them on their feet to the point where they can realize that this place is on fire without them snapping on you. And that's what's been going on. We've been trying to, we've been trying to get, we've been trying to, people hate the truth. And even your own family members, you're trying to tell them, listen, this building is on fire. It's about to burn down. You gotta get up. You gotta, you gotta at least realize that you can't continue on laying around here not thinking for yourself you can't continue laying around here eating and drinking this frozen foods 
and um, uh, vibrating so low because I can't carry you out of here. You're too big. You weigh too much. You have too much baggage. You have to carry your own fucking weight. Well, and you're sitting there saying, well, my savior's coming. No, they no, they lied to you. The people who operate this hospital, they don't want you to leave. They're banking off of you being here. They do not want you to leave. And they know that they can't leave. So they want you to just stay with them. These, no. No, they lied to you. There's nobody coming for you. You go into one of them old folks' homes, and, and they'll ask you. Every time they see you, they'll say, when am I going home? They, they all think that they're going home some, at some time. And you, and you and sometimes you might feel bad for them and say, um, you know, you lied on too. But I hope you understand my example. So let me tell you like this, yo. Okay. But anyway, look. This is what I want to tell you. Stop killing rats and roaches. They want to be around you. They're trying to help you higher your vibrations. I know this for a fact. Because when I back when I used to live in my old town, rats used to come up. A mouse used to come up on, on, on the edge of my bed and put its whiskers like on my head while I was asleep. And it would give me dreams. It, it would give me information. It would communicate with me like that while I was asleep. As soon as I would break consciousness, I didn't even move yet. I would just wake up and break its connection with me. It would jump down off the bed and run. Roaches would crawl up on my headboard. And one day the roach was giving me a dream that even my daughter could hear. My, my daughter could hear the, the, the frequency and it woke her up. And she woke me up, daddy, dad, there's a, there's a roach right there. And I looked and turned the light on and it was. She seen it in the dark. I turned the light on and it ran, jumped off the bed and ran underneath. Me, I tried to kill it. Not thinking, I tried to kill it. Um, at that same place, I used to be sitting there talking to my talking to my, my friend about the dreams that I used to have and stuff like that. The things that used to happen to me. And roaches would just be, I would just spot a roach just sitting there listening to us. I'd be like, yo, look at that roach. And it, the roach would run. The roach would run. I'd be like, yo. It knows what I'm saying. They know what I'm saying. They're listening. Listen. They do. They're intelligent. They understand what we're saying. But but we're slow. They, they can't trust us. They can't, they, they can't be around us because we'll kill them. We'll kill them. We'll kill the rat. We'll kill them. We'll kill them. They know what we're doing to them and they know that it's wrong. But there's nothing that they can tell us. Because we're, like I said, we're that retarded person in the old folks' home. They're waiting for us to wake up and come back to our correct state of mind. Yo, bro, get out in nature. These animals don't got a problem with you. Listen, the lower you vibrate, the more you're going to be scared of the woods and nature. The lower you vibrate, the more poisons and shit you drink, the more, the more lower you, I'm telling you, the lower you vibrate, the more you're going to kill bugs and animals and have a problem with wildlife. You want to go hunting and shit like that. No, we don't do that kind of stuff. Listen, you must raise your vibration. The animals are waiting for you. They're waiting for you. They want to communicate with you. And then when they finally can, they're going to, you're going to realize how intelligent they are. You're going to be like, yo, what? Yes. Listen, when I realized that roaches and rats were so intelligent, I began, I became enemies with them. I wanted, I wanted to kill them. Why? Why? You know why? Because I automatically thought that I automatically thought that it was like a robot or something. And that somehow the white man he he did something to this bug and made it come to get information from me or something. Or it, it was being remote controlled by them or something. I automatically attribute it to nature. Maybe there's a demon in this thing and it's trying to give me nightmares. You wanna know what the roach was saying to me? The roach told me that there's more than one God. And I was thinking that it was trying to get me to worship more than one God, and it wasn't. It was just letting me know that there's more than one God. Evil and good. All wicked. I mean, a bunch of wicked ones. It wanted me to realize that money is a God. Christmas trees are gods. I wasn't studying my Bible at the time. Listen, but back to what I was saying. 
I automatically had a problem when I found out that these things had some type of intelligence. Even here, even down south, uh, I see roaches doing the same thing. Like they'll be up on top of this cabinet and looking down, moving its antlers, just looking down at me. And I would go and scare it and do something dumb. And that's me vibrating low. Okay? Why can't, why do you get alarmed? Why do, why do you get alarmed when you see a bug or something vibrating high? Why can't it be intelligent? Why can't it be intelligent? Why, why, why can't it have intelligence? You know why? It's because low vibrational people don't like intelligent beings. They don't like intelligent animals or people. They don't like intelligence. If you see a dog that's looking at you and you, it's really looking at you, you know that it's using its brain, you try to scare it and punk it. Or you see a cat that's just looking at you and you can tell that it's thinking, you try to scare it. That's, that's because you're afraid of that. In the hood, around our um, our relatives don't like to see us vibrating high. If you try to if you try to vibrate high around your relatives, they'll be like, "God, get out of here! What do you know? I don't want to hear that." They don't want to hear that. They they don't. But but because they're afraid of intelligence, you see what I'm saying? But white people express intelligence. But the thing is, we know that they're not intelligent. They're just low vibrational. Okay. So then why don't we? But but they're dominating us. Why don't we snap on white people, but we'll snap on the intelligent member of our family, but we won't snap on white people? Think about that. You know why? It's because white people are crazy, bro. And and, and something in, inside of us, as sick as we are, we like craziness. We know that the white man is snap on us. You know what I'm saying? We embrace craziness, but but we but we but we neglect and, and, and we disown um intelligence. That's why we all got that crazy aunt. She's crazy. She'll just start dancing and cut a rug anywhere. That's our favorite aunt. We got that crazy ass cousin, bro. He just loud and just, he don't give a damn. He don't give a fuck. That's our favorite cousin. But the one who thinks, the one who starts to think outside of the indoctrination, you put them off. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? We have to wake up. Animals are intelligent. They're just afraid of us. So what I'm telling you is, when the Most High said, why have you killed my messengers and my prophets? He wasn't only talking about people. And he didn't tell you that he was only talking about people either. Somehow you got it in your head that that's all he was talking about. As if bugs and animals are not his creation. The Most High can send whoever he so pleases. Whatever he so pleases. Bugs are intelligent. They're just afraid of us. They can't express their intelligence to you without you fucking killing them. Do you hear me? They taught you, bro, I asked myself this a long time ago and now I have the answer. Why does, why all over the world do they have a big billion dollar industry of, of extermination of bugs, bug extermination, raid and stuff like that? Why do they have these kind of things to kill animals and bug, um, um, rats, roaches? things in the house, rats and roaches. Why do they have such a big industry? You know why? Because rats and roaches are the only, um, the only species that's crazy and that's brave enough to be around you. They can wake you up in their nature. They can wake you up. So they want you to kill them. Man, listen, these white folks, if rats and roaches were so bad, you think that they would sell a bottle of roach spray at the store for $2 to help you out? No, they will make that shit only accessible to rich um, white people. If rats and roaches were so bad, they wouldn't help you get rid of them. They never had your best interest at heart. Never. Come on, bro. Stop. I hope you understand what I'm telling you. Stop killing rats and roaches. Stop killing bugs, period. Stop killing animals. Stop being afraid of animals and bugs. You must hire your vibration in order for you to survive what's coming. The frequency here on earth is rising. I'm telling you. And pretty soon, the animals and the bugs are going to join forces with the ones who hire the vibrations on the level that they can actually befriend them and communicate with them. That's why I tell you, stop eating meat. Stop killing bugs, spiders. I don't care what it is. Let it live. You're building up a karmic debt that's too much for you to fucking handle. 
Every time you kill a spider or a bug, bro, you have no idea the pain that you cause. Do you hear me? But I'm telling you, you're causing pain every time you do it. Get that goddamn frozen meat out your refrigerator, out of your freezer. Stop eating these animals. Stop doing it. The Most High said that you have been a brute beast before me. Why would the Most High tell us that we have been a brute beast before him? You know why? The Most High is the God of nature. He's the God of nature. When the Most High acts, he sends nature. Lions, tigers, bears, bugs, thunderstorms. He's the God of nature. So then how can he be calling us the, a, a brute beast before him? You know why? Because even the brute beast run from your ass. You see a wolf once, it's either going to run or it's going to be defensive. Because they don't fuck with us like that, bro. We are a brute beast. Do you understand? If you see a cat, it's either ready to run from your ass or, or stand its ground. A dog, a pit bull, nothing trusts you. So we label all of these things that I just named brute beasts. But why do they run from us? If you see a bear, if you see a bear, it's either going to run from you or fuck you up or defend itself. It's not going it, to, in, in most chances, it's not going to be too peaceful with you. Unless you stand there faking, acting like you're not alive and you're like a tree. And even sometime that won't work. Why are those people over in Africa able to walk with a lion on a leash? Why? Because they vibrate higher. They walk around barefoot. They, they spend a lot of time out in the bush. They don't eat meat. They got them white ass teeth, bro. They don't drink fluoride, fluoridated water. You see what I'm saying? They don't go swimming in a pool with fluoride and chlorine. They go out in the river. Yeah, there's alligators in there. Are they scared? Hell no. This their bathtub. That's their bathtub. They got they washing that water. They're always drawing water from over there. Not you though. You have been a brute beast before the most high. Remember that. He refers to you as a brute beast. Think about that. And you look at everything else like it's a brute beast. All these animals and bugs, everything's just being the way that it's supposed to be. You're the one that's acting different. A spider's just being who a spider's supposed to be. You, you're drinking soda and getting drunk off beers and liquor. You're shaking your butt cheeks. Looking for somebody to, to somebody new to have sexual intercourse with. You're partying to wicked music. You feel me? You're celebrating, you're celebrating uh, days that, that, that you're celebrating, how, uh, you're having, you're, you're doing satanic ritual that they told you was just holy, um, holidays, but it's really satanic holy days. They took the eye out of holy and put an eye in there and they got you thinking holiday instead of holy day. He made you a, listen, they turned you into a brute beast. Who do you think the most high is more pleased with, you or that spider? The spider that you just killed today. The spider, and as, and as I said that, there's a spider crawling up my phone. That spider is being who the Most High created it to be. It's eating what the Most High created it to eat. It's living in accordance with na nature, natural. It's being its natural self. And you fucking killed it. But you're not living natural the way that the Most High want you to live. You don't drink. That bottle of water isn't natural. It's poison. But these devils got you trust in poison. And you second guess what the Most High gives you to drink. Have you ever thought... That all of this, all of this nature around me drinks rain. Every goddamn, every animal out here, every bug out here drinks rain. Every living creature on the, on every living organism drinks rain except for you. You let the cracker get his hands on it, poison it, put it in a bottle and give you poison. When it had vitamins and minerals in it, why is everything else, how come everything else can drink the rain except for you? You're scared of it. You got a power. That's nasty. You're a brute beast. Do you understand? Wake up. You must wake up before it's too late. Heed the message. Go outside barefoot. Hug a tree if you have to. Do it. Do it. I, I, I think you should. Get down on your hands and knees and pray to the Most High to forgive you. Every day. Do it every day. Ask Him into your life. Listen to these messages, man. Heed these messages. People are not coming out here doing these messages just, just to entertain you. 
listen, you have to raise your vibration before it's too late. You must. Stop eating meat. You have to start slowly. Stop. You have to start slowly. Now, you have to stop drinking that uh, that bottled water. You better not drink that tap water. You have to stop showering in that tap water. You have to stop eating meat. You have to stop sending your DNA. Put your DNA in the dirt. Put your blood in the dirt. Never put it in the toilet. Or they're just going to prey on it. Put it in the dirt. Put your feces in the dirt. Put your pee in the dirt. Spit in the dirt. Don't put enough to stop flushing shit down the toilet. I know everybody's not going to be able to do this. Only a few. You want to be among that number. I'm telling you now. You would want to be among the number. Of people who hire their vibrations. You better listen. This isn't my message. The most high gave me this message give to you take it easy y'all you better pass this information forward let your people know all right